guys of Biotechnica, welcome to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the biotech jobs in scope in China, how to get into these jobs. So as we already know about the biotech sector is growing these days. So it's also believed by 2027 or 2030, there's going to be a gradual increase in biotech sector. So we know USA is going to be the first one who stands first in the biotech sector. And then comes, we can say, China and then comes Japan and then South Korea. So these countries are serving as the biotech hub in the entire world. So we all of you wanted to go in for certain uh, countries which provides a lot of job opportunities when we talk about biotechnology. So today in this video, I'll be talking about what are the jo biotech jobs that are available in China? What are the scope that China has everything in detail? So first, let's talk about the future scope or the future of biotechnology in China. Yes. So we already know about the fact that China is also a biotech hub. So nowadays, it's also believed that in the next uh, decade or after 10 years, it is believed most of the foreign biotech and even biopharma companies are trying to expand their biotech capabilities into China, which means China is investing a lot in biotech sector. So of course, if they invest a lot in biotech sector, ultimately the job opportunity is going to increase in China. Okay, the mainland biotech market will be worth of almost US dollar of 96 billion by 2023. By 2023 itself, you can literally see there's going to be a very gradual biotech market growth is gonna happen. By 2018, you can see it's almost 40 billion uh, US dollars, but now by 2023 itself, it's going to increase, which means biotech is going to be the near future in the complete world. So how in case of China, it's going to work. So let's talk about the next one. So is biotech in demand in China? Of course, it's not only in China when we talk about US or when we talk about China, Japan, South Korea or Germany or wherever it is, biotechnology is definitely going to be a booming field. So the growth rate of the biotechnology market and it's believed that by 2025, 12 percentage growth is going to take place, which is amazing. 12 percentage growth is a gradual one. So biotechnology growth in China is definitely going to be maximum. So there is a demand for biotechnology student if you want to take a career path in China. And the next one, what are the educational qualifications? Now, there might be a question coming for everybody like whether in China bachelor students are hired or master students are hired or only PhD students are hired. So I'm going to show you a survey which really talks about uh, who gets hired maximum. So here you can see 45 percentage of the people who have qualified or who have graduated from masters have been hired more than doctoral student who are hired 11 percentage which means if you are a master student and if you wanted to go in for a china for a biotechnology job and if you have the skill along with your master's degree definitely you can also land up a job in china because that is going to be a demanding field how about the average salary of a biotechnologist in china so i'm going to talk about an average salary of a person is going to be chinese end of 2,25,962. So this is going to be a very wonderful, good salary package. And the average bonus is going to be 5,288. So it's going to be in lakhs for all of you. So if you're going to see the lowest basic pay is going to be 19,600 Chinese N and the highest is going to be 69,700 Chinese N. So this will be in the lakhs for us if we have to talk about it. So definitely the salary package for a biotech as an initial fresher is also going to be maximum. So definitely biotech in China is really amazing. Now estimated salary. Okay, now it's believed what will happen by 2027 in China. So will the biotechnology sector going to grow? As I already mentioned, of course, it's going to grow in all part of the world. It, uh, China is no exception to this one. So five year change, if you're going to see by 2027, 29 percentage hike in the salary is going to take place in China. So which means if you are taking biotechnology as a career in China, definitely it, there are a lot of probability the salary package for a biotechnology professionals is going to increase in China. It's not only in China when we talk about it's going to increase in most of the countries since we are restricting to China, we are talking in detail. 
So now let's talk about the job profile. What are the job opportunities that are available for a biotech knowledge candidate? Okay, so let's talk about the complete uh, things in detail. You can also list out all the profiles along with the salary package here. So first, let's start off with biological scientists. Biological scientists are the people who earns a bit more than everybody. Of course, scientists and biological technicians, biotechnologists, biotechnology lead data manager, and clinical data manager, clinical data associate, specialist, operation manager, and clinical research associate and clinical study manager. Cytology, laboratory technologist, cytotechnologist, molecular and cellular biologist. If you are looking for some uh, very specific job profile, you can go and check in for the companies that I'll be talking about where if you can get a job opportunity over there, you can start working over there. So we know there are a lot of job profiles which are available in China. Now let's talk about what are the top companies. I'm going to list out top five companies, but there are many more companies. I'll be showing it for all of you. So the top five companies are going to be Abigail Biosciences Co. Limited, Aviston Pharmaceutical, DSC Biotech Co. Limited, Inogen Pharmaceutical Technology, Stimirna Technol Therapeutics Co. Limited. So these are the top five companies I'm going to talk about. So the headquarters is present here and this company mainly deals with Therapy based on mRNA technology. If you're someone who would like to go in for uh, mRNA technology, if you want to find some therapy for a disease, then definitely you can go for this one. The next is going to be Aviston Pharmaceutical. So Aviston Pharmaceutical uh, headquarters is present in most of the location in Beijing, China, even in San Francisco, US and Boston. And here they are manufacturing drugs specially for lung cancer. So if you're someone who would like to go in for oncology field, you can try for this one. And here, if I have to talk about DAC Biotech Co. Limited, it's an antibody drug manufacturers and the headquarters is present here. So you can also look, go to their website and check in for the job profiles which are in demand for now. The next is Inogen Pharmaceutical. It's present in Shanghai headquarters and they usually manufacture drugs for metabolic disorders like diabetes. So if you're someone who would like to work in metabolic disorder, you can go for this. And the next is Stemorina Therapeutics Co. Limited, which is also in Shanghai. And clinical testing and vaccination, COVID-19 vaccine has also been produced in this company. So these are the top five companies. If you would like to go in for China, definitely you can uh, go for this one. Let's talk about the next one. What are the biotech total companies in the entire China, if I have to talk about? I'll list out the top five companies, but there are many companies that I can talk about. There are almost 600 plus biotech companies, which is standard companies. And there are a lot of startups which are coming these days. 300 startups are present in biotech companies. So I'm going to show you the list of biotech companies over here. So this is just the half the page of it. I, you are actually seeing it, but there are many, many more uh, list of biotech companies in China. You can go to the uh, website and you can look around. There are so many companies that you can find and you can go to their website and check in for the job profile availability and then you can go for this one. The next comes the biggest question for everybody is how to get a job in China. Yes. So we already know China is growing a bit fast in biotech sector. So what we can do to get a job in China, because China is very well versed in uh, technological aspects also. So we need to learn those things from them. So first important thing, if you're going to get a job in China, the first thing you have to do is you need to know a bit of Mandarin Chinese. A little bit of Chinese knowledge you need to have whether to speak or to write or to read you need to know this is usually when you go for bachelors in China or masters in China or for a job in China usually China Chinese language is very important so a little bit of Chinese language will help you to fetch a job and the most important thing highlight on your skills as I already mentioned if you talk about China, after completing bachelor's itself, you can find people working in pharma companies and biotech companies, which means if you have your skill, you will be hired even after a bio, uh, bachelor's degree. And after you complete master's and if you're going to have a skill along with a little bit of Chinese language, then you will be hi hired and present the reason they should hire you. Of course, when you're directly applying for the company through the website, you can literally uh, tell the reason why do you want to hire or when you're going in for interview, you should have to tell them and search for jobs on site. I'm going to tell you some of the job site where you can go and look for the job opportunity very specifically for biotechnologist positions. So these are some of the sites that you can go and check if you are looking for a job in China.
the next one what are the two things to work at china you need to know the first is of course a work permit and the second is a residence permit so work permit will be given by the state administration of foreign exports affair and residence per permit will be given by the division of existentry administration of public security bureau will be giving this one suppose if you are someone who would like to enter into a biotechnology company in china you can do another thing you can study bachelor's or masters in china and go for an internship in the chinese biotechnology company and then you can actually start up your career as a biotech uh, graduate or as a professional in any companies or in a research institute and so that you can uh, contribute even to our country india so i've been talking about the complete detail of biotech jobs and scope in india when we talk about the biotech market starting from the us and it's going to continue a lot china also plays an important role in contributing to the uh, biotechnology jobs and certain scopes in china so today i've been talking about how you can get into these jobs which are available for a biotechnology professionals for a foreign graduate so let's uh conclude this uh, today's uh, lecture and i believe that this video is helpful for you if you have any queries you can put it in the comment section thank you all of you for your time and i'm going to meet you back again with another lovely video thank you all of you